Hey guys, welcome back. So we're still in Wally lockdown mode and I am working on Wally as we speak. And I've made some pretty good progress with the electronics. Um, so I'll show you what I've got going. So sorry, but this video is gonna probably gonna be a little bit unorganized. So I apologize about that. Um, and this really just goes to show you how much of an amateur I am at this on both the design and the electronics parts of it. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about the problems that I had um, last time. And first, I don't, I don't remember if I talked about this or not, but um, this is actually a pretty big problem. It seems that I have overloaded Tinkercad. As you can see, I'm getting an error down here and it will just not build anymore. Luckily, being a software programmer, I know to make copies of things all the time. So I think I'll be okay. Um, I made several copies of this and I downloaded the files frequently and I kept all the files. I, I should at least be able to scrape together everything that I have um, and if I don't, then I'll recreate it because obviously I have the pieces printed so far. So, but this does kind of suck because there was some work in here that I hadn't had a chance to copy yet. And I'm not quite sure why it's doing this. Um, it, this has actually been happening for quite a long while now because um, I've actually been done with the majority of the design aspects for Wally for um, uh, well over a month now. Obviously, I'm still working on like the treads and stuff like that. So, this has been happening for well over a month. Um, not really sure what to do about it, but um, like I said, I'm lucky enough that I should be able to move forward. So the next thing I was working on was the audio for the Arduino. Um, I had the speaker playing some noises and I had the um, SD card reading files, but I hadn't made them work together yet. But I finally got that to work and I found out what my problem was. Format for the audio file was not right. Um, in order to play out of the speaker. So after digging around online, um, I finally found out that I needed to change it to 8-bit, 16,000 hertz, mono, and then I needed to change the PCM format to unsigned 8-bit. And then after I converted it and exported it, um, it worked perfectly. And it actually requires a shockingly, shockingly little amount of code to get this to run. This is all I was doing here. Obviously, there's a couple of libraries that I used, but really you're just telling the SD card which pin to use to read data from it, and then telling it which pin to use for the speaker, and then telling it to play, thanks to this TMRPCM uh, library. And I will try to show you the uh, speaker working here in a second when I switch over to the desk cam. So since my other Wally file was broken, I brought over what I had um, to make adjustments here and I basically needed to work on the mounts for the motors and then the treads and let's quickly look at the mounts for the motors as you can see um, my biggest problem with the motor mounts I was not using the hats that came with the servo motors I was trying to print something that would go on there but um, it worked a little bit but it just was not sticking as, um, especially with the torque that's needed for this so I'm just gonna use the hat that came with it and basically the hat will just sit in here and force this to turn and then same thing for the uh, one for the head. And I will show you these um, in action in a little bit too. And then this is the new idea for the tread. Let me see if I can get closer. Um, basically there's just slots in the bottom and it'll print basically just like this. And then these pins will go in the slots kind of like you see this one here and they will link up like this. Um, and I have not been able to print enough of them to fully test it yet, so I'm not sure if that'll work 100%, but I have printed a few and they do link together, so that's a good first start. I'm just hoping that these won't be as rigid and um, easy to fall apart as the last ones. Okay, so let's switch over to the desk cam and look at some of this stuff in action. Okay, pardon the mess, um, but this is the neck and that's what the outside of it looks like. So. This is basically the idea I have for um, the innards of the neck. Basically, the servo motor just slides right in there. And then as you can see, this little piece that I printed here, if it'll focus. Okay, there we go. So you can see that this just basically sits on top of the hat. Um, and it will turn with the motor here. So that's good. And actually, um, you may notice that there's a little bit of wobble. And that is actually intentional. Um, it, one, it'll be reduced just a little bit when the head slides on here. I'm basically just going to slide the head on and glue it to this. 
so that should work out okay but um the i think it'll provide a, a nice little bit of wobble for his head when he moves um and i think it'll give it kind of a nice um effect and if not all i have to do is just um reprint this piece here and make it a little bit longer and then that wobble will go away so we'll see there and then this just closes on the other side and there will be pins or there will be screws holding this together but for right now it actually um, stays together just like that and then this moves freely you can hear the motor moving in there and then this just pops out um, on the bottom and it will attach to the body like this so this will go inside the the middle of the body and then this is the rest of the wheel system here it's all mounted up and you can see the little gear right in there um, and I can actually hook this up and let it go for you. Okay, so when I start this up, you should be able to see this um, turning here. So that works pretty good, and it'll be able to go either way. Um, it's a little fast. Um, I'm hoping I can control that in the code and still have enough torque to turn him effectively. If not, I'll probably have to work on the gears and um, actually gear it down mechanically, which wouldn't be the end of the world. But we won't be able to um, fully test that out until we have the treads on there. And speaking of the treads, these are what I have so far. And as you can see, they um, bend up like you'd expect. They look the same on the top. They are a little bit more flexible side to side um, and just all around. And obviously they won't come apart no matter what I do here. I actually have to like slide them over like this and um, pop them out of place. So um, coming apart won't be an issue. I just worried that they're not uh, flexible enough to actually go around this, uh, this top one over here. But um, it'll probably be close. It fits on this one perfectly so far. But I'll have to print more to actually figure out if this works or not. So here are the treads. Rattlesnake. Okay, so last but not least, um, the speaker. And I'll play quickly the sound that it's supposed to be. Hopefully this won't be too loud. Okay, so that, that'll give you an idea. And obviously I'm not gonna leave that in for Wally. -E. It was just a test WAV file that I downloaded, some nice classical music. And so let's give this a shot. Um, it is extremely quiet, so I'm gonna try and get some nice sound here. And you can see the light going off on the SD card reader there. Okay, so uh, that's all I've got for you today. The um, With that being done, all the electronics pretty much figured out, really the only thing left is the treads. And um, that's gonna take some doing. I, I hope this works. Um, if not, I've got another idea kind of brewing. Um, like I said at the beginning, this just really goes to show you how much of an amateur I am at uh, mechanical stuff as well as electronics. but. Um, yeah, as long as it works, that's what matters, right? So I'll keep trying until it works. And then my wife is still in the process of painting it. Um, so hopefully we will converge at about the same time. And I might even do the um, final assembly of it in a live stream. I still haven't done a live stream. And I think it'd be cool to put this thing together um, with an audience. So let me know if that would be something you guys would like to see. Because um, I think that'd be pretty fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.